What's up everybody, my name's Andy and welcome back to Kit Guru. Corsair are known for their excellent quality PC peripherals and accessories and they're certainly no strangers when it comes to pushing tech that little bit further by making things you didn't even know that you needed until you saw them. That's exactly the case today because Corsair are pushing the boundaries once again with their latest accessory release. We're checking out the IQ Nexus. <music> we continue, if you enjoy what we do here at KitGuru, whether that's in-depth component analysis or comprehensive peripheral reviews, it would mean the world to all of us here at KitGuru if you smash that subscribe button as we do all of this for you. Okay Andy, well what is it and why do I need it? Well the Nexus is essentially a customizable touchscreen panel letting you control up to six virtual buttons per page. Now don't be fooled though, this little accessory packs a huge punch. The definition of the word Nexus means a connection or series of connections linking two or more things and that's exactly what this does. The Nexus is basically your one-stop central hub for all your PC needs, whether that's game gaming, working, or just general use. Now the IQ Nexus retails in the UK for $89.99, so it is a little bit pricey, but you're getting a great companion for all your PC needs at that price. So let's start with what you get in the box. The packaging is classic Corsair, very well presented with high quality product shots and information. Opening it up, we get our warranty and our manual, the IQ Nexus itself. We have the screen on the front, whilst on the back you can see the mounting frame and also the short lead of the USB-A cable. The housing is plastic, but it's very well made. It's sturdy and the screen is level. Definitely great build quality here, as I would expect from Corsair. We have our standalone base included with a non-slip rubber base, the opening for the Nexus to slide into, and again, full plastic construction, but well-designed, and it's also got a nice 1.82 meter or six foot braided cable that extends the USB-A cable so that you can place it anywhere on your desk. Next, we have three keyboard brackets. So this is used on compatible keyboards if you didn't want to use the standalone mode. So the supported keyboards are Corsair's K70 RGB Mark II or the K95 RGB Platinum. Make sure to check out my review of the K95 RGB Platinum keyboard here at KitGuru if you're interested. Lastly, we get a tool to pry off any brackets if you wanted to remove them. Setting up the Nexus couldn't be easier. Using the provided standalone base, just plug that USB-A cable from the Nexus into the base, tuck the cable away and slide the Nexus in. Push it firmly until it slides into place. The angle that the screen is tilted when in standalone mode is absolutely perfect for my desk height and my seating position. You can see the screen perfectly and being a touch screen, that angle really does help. If you want to use the keyboard mount, then find your mount that matches your keyboard's back panel Peel the 3M tape guards off, line them up and press firmly for a minute or two, but do bear in mind that it takes up to 24 hours for the adhesive to fully bond to the keyboard. Then you can manage the cable from the back of the Nexus, firmly press down until it slides into place and plug your USB-A cable into that pass-through port of your keyboard. Super easy. And I found both ways of installing, whether that's tabletop mode or keyboard mode, very, very quick and easy. Removing the Nexus screen from either mount takes no force at all and it just slides out easily once you get your finger under that lip. Let's take a look at some specs before we dive into customizing the Nexus via the IQ software. The Nexus only works with Windows 10, so do keep that in mind. The touchscreen is five inches wide, has an aspect ratio of 40 by three, a resolution of 640 by 48. So if you wanna create your own custom backgrounds or GIFs, yes, GIFs are supported, then you've gotta make sure that you remember this resolution. It has a refresh rate of 24 frames per second. It's backlit with a 
adjustable brightness, has 262,000 color range, and it only works whilst connected to IQ and with IQ running. There are so many options regarding your Nexus. You can set it up as an application launcher for games, email, web browsers, calculators, and all sorts of stuff. You can assign macros, control any Corsair products that are connected via IQ or RGB across them all, monitor your CPU and GPU temps and their load, their fan speeds, and even assign key presses for games to show you like your maps, your skills, or whatever you want, really. And what's even better is that you can have hundreds of screens for whatever you'd like, and moving between them is as simple as swiping left and right on that capacitive touchscreen. Let's take a look at how we can achieve some of these things. So firstly, download IQ and check for updates. Plug your Nexus in and also check for firmware updates for that in the settings tab. To start from the home screen, select your Nexus. You'll notice if you already have Corsair products, you'll already have some screens with options to control them without having to do anything. And I really love that because you can get started straight out of the box. For example, both of my mice were recognized and set up instantly without me having to do anything. The home page will show your screens, but there are two ways of viewing. There's a view order on the left hand side, and this switches between the reorder screens. So clicking on the right button organizes your tabs as a stack. And here you can enable or disable certain screens reorder them and even change the backgrounds from this area as well by clicking on those three little lines to the right of each screen. You can add a new screen if you want by pressing the plus button at the bottom. Going back to the main view, this is your editing view. So click the plus symbol to add new, hover over the screen area and click add new to add a new button or widget. Now this will create a yellow highlighted area and you can either grab the sides and drag it around to make it larger or smaller or you can see the little area that says one times one for example and that's a drop down and you can increase the size or decrease it there too. If we want to add a background, you can just drag and drop it onto the bar and that will fill the background. Or you can click the three lines in the right and click the top to edit the background. You can select buttons or widgets here, but I'd recommend this method for buttons only as there is an easier way to add widgets that I'll show you later. Before we add our action, underneath you can see display text that lets you change the font size, color and the text displayed on the screen itself. Or you can remove it if you wish. The same applies for the background of this specific button. Now you know that, let's check out our action. Click add and you'll be presented with macros first. There are so many options here, but let's click the drop down at the top. Now here we can see add macros, text, media, launch apps, timers, profile switches, and even map any keyboard button to the Nexus. Mapping keyboard buttons is exactly how we're going to assign our custom buttons for specific games. But of course, you do need to keep in mind you already need to know the key bindings for the game that you're going to be playing. So let's take MMOs for example. I'm a big fan of Elder Scrolls Online and as such I've made a quick bar on my Nexus to open my character's menus, my maps, my skill trees, my champion points and so much more. The potential here is almost unlimited and I absolutely love having that visual aid whilst I'm absorbed in that gameplay. I can just quickly hit that and it will pop up straight up. What I would love to see in the future though is some way of feeding the game's information to the screen. So maybe I could have my health bar, my damage stats, or even my FPS displayed on the screen. Now that would be awesome, but currently it is not supported. So I hope you're listening, Corsair. If we choose launch application, we get the super handy presets, such as launching your default web browsers, emails, text editor, calculator, and more. This is brilliant. It's super quick to set up. And what blew my mind was just how fast these apps opened. It's literally instantaneous. If you want to open a game or something like Steam, then you can search for the executable file and run it that way. Choosing media lets you assign play, pause, mute, unmute, and more. And I think this is brilliant because you could create create a whole dedicated screen just for say Spotify and then skipping tracks and raising the volume and stuff like that is all at your fingertips. The fact that you can keep making screens after screens truly opens up so many doors for this unit. And if you have ones you only use now and then, then you can disable them to use later like I showed earlier. Now we've made our button, how handy would it be to save that button as a preset? Well, on the left-hand side, click the buttons library and simply drag the button that you wanna save into that area and let go and done. 
saved. It's that easy. And this makes it so much easier for creating multiple screens where there might be something that you want on each screen, like mute or pause or something like that. And you just drag it from that area back onto the screen of your choice and it works. Remember I said there was an easier way of inserting widgets? Well, click the widget list on the left side. This opens up widgets for your CPU, your GPU, your RAM, motherboard, and basically any supported component. Simply click on the folder of your CPU or whatever you want, and then drag either its temperature, its fan speeds, clock speeds, or whatever onto your bar. It's as simple as that. And if the widget is too small, just drag the corners to expand it. And I love that I can have a dedicated screen just for my temperatures, my usage, my fan speeds. So when I'm gaming or even editing, these videos, this is super helpful information that doesn't need to take up a separate screen, having an overlay or even a separate window open. So it's super handy, especially because I can change the size of that widget for something I might want that's more important. Finally, in iQ, there is an import and export screen. So if you want to, you know, back them up or share them with a friend or something like that, then you can do. In real world use, well, I'm loving the Nexus. It's got a sleep state, which can be changed in the settings tab in the software and to wake it up just tap the screen when i'm facing my monitor i do have a window to the right of me and the sun comes in so strong it's insanely bright even in these harsh lighting conditions the screen is easily visible another thing i really like is just how responsive it is i expected some sort of delay between pressing the actions or swiping between screens but really it's it shocked me they're so fast at launching and swiping between those screens is super smooth and quick i've never missed a press or a swipe on the Nexus yet. Oh, also before I forget, if you have the new Corsair LT100 smart lighting towers, you can even control them with the Nexus via the lighting link option. And this cycles through the preset effects, which is also pretty cool. If you've not seen my review on the Corsair LT100 Smart Lighting Towers, make sure you check that out. The one thing I have noticed though is using fast motion GIFs causes screen tearing, and that bugs me quite a lot, but it's only happened with one GIF that I've tried, and that's the like Knight Rider style swipe across the screen. Other GIFs, even constant motion and fast motion GIFs have been absolutely fine though, but I did want to mention that. Overall, I don't see the Nexus as a gimmick. I genuinely think that it can be a useful tool that has almost limitless potential with how many screens and options that can be set up. It's a bit pricey, but the quality that you are getting is excellent. And personally, I'm finding it very useful with my workflow and just general use. It just makes it a bit more fun. <laughs> I hope that they can get some integration for games to show your health or DPS or FPS in future, but maybe there's a chance they can sort this out with a firmware update. So what do you guys think of the IQ Nexus by Corsair? Well, I think it's pretty cool, but let us know what you think down below. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, ring the notification bell, check out our merchandise down below, check out our Twitter, and check out our website daily for tech news. I'm Andy, this is KitGuru, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.